Welcome back to new exercise in Autodesk Inventor. This is the isometric view and we are going to create a 3D model in Inventor. So here we are going to start with this base. You will see width 30, 15 millimeter and 30 millimeter is the length. And the height of this solid face 2 millimeter. You will see here then these two corner have fillet 2 millimeter R2. So let's do this. First, I am going to choose here Inventor 2023 New. Now here, if you drop down the this option, you will get English or Matrix. I am going to choose Matrix Standard Millimeter Create. Now here, either you can directly click on the graphics area and choose New Sketch. Or even though drop down this menu and you can choose 2D start 2d sketch now here we have three planes so i'm going to choose x z plane now see sketch toolbar activated let's start with rectangle choose center rectangle let's say 15 plus tap key 30 enter right click say ok now this is fully constrained drawing you will see right bottom say yes. Now activate extruded tool. Now here only one close body so it will automatically select this one. See input geometry profile already selected and sketch already selected because here only one profile at lies on a one plane. Now behavior. We want to extrude in one direction. Distance let's say 2 millimeter and you can say name for this but let's keep as it is. We don't need to put any dimension, say OK. If you select corner, you will see two options, fillet and chamfer. Even though you can activate from here, fillet. Now in selection, constant radius fillet is selected. This one, age, one is selected. Now I am going to choose second age. Two millimeter is the radius, so say OK. If you hold shift key and center roller you can rotate your mouse in any 360 directions now let's add this bot okay let's add these holes these are the counter bore holes two number of holes one is the center diameter depth 2 millimeter counter bore hole diameter to depth 0.5 there are two things and you will see the distance 2 by 2 means it is lies at the center point of this circle or chamfer. At bottom also you will see 12 distance from bottom to the center of hole, 6 diameter. Here 8 is overall length but from this corner to this corner 2 means remaining 6 millimeter. Remember this one and this one 3 millimeter depth. So let's apply first hole so go to 3d tab in modify panel choose hole now first input geometry you have to select the location before going to select the location i am going to put hole type simple hole seat counter bore now here transmission termination we have two one other distance or one other through all but we have a distance direction choose now here 2 millimeter we already defined depth 0.5 and this is the overall length of hole 2 millimeter and 1 millimeter is the diameter so this is already defined by this now I am going to choose now let's rotate it if I am going to place somewhere here and move your cursor near to this face and click See, this is aligned with this. Similarly, place one more something like here and place our cursor near this and click. See, it is aligned with this. Say OK. If you rotate, hold shift key, press roller mouse, mouse roller and rotate and you will see. OK, let's rotate. Click this face, create sketch activate line tool circle tool 
and draw some hole like here let's say 6 enter right click ok activate line tool connect from here to move cursor near and you will see a tangent sample click similarly again from this point to move cursor circle and you will see one tangent click and exit choose vertical see it is aligned dimension click this point bottom line 12 millimeter say ok now this is fully constrained see now finish sketch extrude ok we forget to add line here that is why this is selected by this so simply cancel right click on sketch edit sketch activate line tool and connect escape to out of the line finish sketch similarly let us apply extrude now first profile I will choose this profile see A sketch already selected now direction this is depth 3 millimeter but direction just click flip let us rotate and see proper view ok that is fine look this is going inside and this is going to be output boolean join say ok again right click on the sketch visible extrude now this time you have to select profile so move your cursor this circle and here this time direction we are going to choose asymmetric the first one you remember in your drawing 2 millimeter the second one 6 millimeter look 2 millimeter one direction 6 millimeter in one direction click add say ok right click unchecked now similarly we have to add this also this overall length of this 12.4.5 millimeter from this corner to here 0.5 means from center to this end 1.5 remember and this side 3 millimeter now this rib depth 2 millimeter 15 millimeter you will see from this corner to this corner and uh, the center distance from bottom edge here also shows 12 millimeter then this rib 6 millimeter from this edge to here 4 millimeter from here 2 millimeter depth so let us rotate hold shift key cursor roller and rotate plane offset plane I will choose this and here choose dimension 15 but this is going this direction so let us say minus ok click plane sketch ok now activate circle this circle 4 millimeter activate line similarly the same procedure just move your cursor if you see any tangent click similarly start from here to connect here then move something like here tangent no it is tangent created with this ok that is fine vertical line choose this center line and you will see this middle line dimension let us say this vertical dimension 12 millimeter now this is fully defined sketch if I am going to rotate delete this relation now move the line if you see tangent ok now this is fully constrained finish sketch extrude this time I am going to choose 
is 2 millimeter symmetric profile already selected boolean add okay right click visible activate extra tool this time choose this circular profile here choose asymmetric okay so this direction it's 3 mm and the second direction 1.5 mm because overall length is 4 mm if you see see this 3 this 1.4 add say okay right click on the sketch uncheck the visibility now let's check which is the mid plane okay x y z plane sketch activate line tool draw one line like this escape dimension let's define these two dimensions 4 mm say okay now this dimension 6 mm okay right click now here activate constraint tool select this point and this line cancel this point and this line this point and this line now this is fully constrained escape key to out finish sketch now here at 3d model tab you will find here now go to 3d model tab activate rip tool now first here i am going to choose parallel to sketch profile then second select the profile now select the direction so i am going to choose this direction because this is going towards body see thickness 2 mm and we want to put symmetric so 1 mm in both side and here i am going to choose this two next say okay select this face create a sketch now here we have a hole activate hole this is the center and let's say 3 mm enter right click okay two dimensions needed it is asking us two dimension needed so what you will do activate this tool constraint select this circle and this circle it is lies on this circle right click okay this is fully defined i am going to choose like this finish sketch activate extrude tool now this time i am going to choose this cut and here choose profile so i am going to choose this one look direction keep change and here i am going to choose distance now i am going to choose up to either choose through all if you choose through all see is going to cut hole throughout this boolean output which selected cut say yes let's move and see look if you want to add scene or material so let's say appearance and this is going to be light red something that's it so i hope you like it don't forget to share our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works and inventors thanks for watching